Very good morning to all the lovely children of Army Public School Primary Wing Udhampur. Welcome back for today's online class. As you all know in EVS we were discussing chapter 4. Plants are green friends. In the previous video I told you that plants are very important part of our life. Plants are our real friends as they provide us oxygen gas, food, wood, shelter, fiber, medicines, gums, etc. Then I told you that there are five types of plants: trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. After that I introduced that there are different parts of a plant and today we are going to discuss different parts of a plant one by one. Parts of a plant. A plant is divided into two parts. First is root that grows below the ground and other is shoot that grows above the ground and the shoot contains stem leaf flower fruit seeds etc let's discuss these parts of a plant the root root is a very important part of a plant it usually grows below the ground and provides support to the plant there are two types of roots one is tap root and other is fibrous root in tap root main root grows from the end of the stem and small roots grow from the main root tap roots are commonly found in carrot beetroot etc fibrous root fibrous roots are the roots in which many roots grow from the end of the stem giving the bushy appearance fibrous roots are commonly found in wheat rice etc you can see in the picture this is a tap root In tap root there is one very big root that goes down into the ground and many smaller roots are coming out of it. In fibrous root there are many roots that go in all directions giving the bushy appearance. Functions of roots as i told you roots are very important part of a plant as it fixes the plant in the soil it takes in water and minerals from the soil There are few roots that can store food. These roots are swollen and thick. For example, radish, turnip, hanging roots of banyan tree. Banyan tree has a normal tap root system in the beginning, but as the plant grows, branches becomes very heavy. To provide additional support, prop roots arises. These prop roots arise from the branches of the stem and they grow vertically downward and on reaching the ground they enter the soil and provides additional support to the tree. Stem stem is another main part of the shoot. Stem connects root with the other parts of the plant. Stem grows above the ground. The trees have hard, strong and woody stem which is known as trunk. functions of stem stem keeps the plant upright and straight it carries water to the leaves it carries and transfer food made by leaves to different parts like root stem also store extra food which is prepared by the plant for example potato ginger etc children do you know potato ginger and many other stems are there which grows under the ground leaf leaf is the most important part of the shoot the plural form of leaf is leaves leaves are mostly green in color let's discuss about the structure of the leaf the flat part of the leaf is known as leaf blade or leaf lamina in the center there is a midrib from the midrib the lines arises which are known as veins from the veins a number of lines branch out these are known as veinlets the veins carry water to the leaf functions of leaf children as you all know plants are autotrophic in nature autotrophic means they can prepare their own food so the uh, the plants have leaves leaves are the kitchen or the food factory of the plant as leaves make food for the plant with the help of air water and sunlight and the process by which leaves prepare their own food for the plant is known as photosynthesis another function of leaf is it gives out oxygen and the, as you all know oxygen gas is very important for us we breathe in oxygen gas so leaves give 
oxygen gas to us. In some plants, leaves also store food, for example, spinach, cabbage, etc. Flower Flower is the most beautiful part of the plant. It is brightly colored and has sweet smell. It changes into fruits. Fruits and seeds Fruits have seeds inside them. Some fruits have one seed, some have a few, while others have many seeds inside them. Fruits having one seed are mango, avocado, etc. Fruits with few seeds are lemon, orange, etc. And fruits with many seeds are papaya, watermelon, etc. There are fruits which are seedless. The seedless fruits are banana, grapes, etc. Edible seeds. We eat seeds of plants such as wheat, gram, rice and bean. Such seeds are called edible seeds. Edible means eatable. Seed germination. It is the process in which seed grows into a new plant. Let's discuss how. A seed is placed in moist soil. When conditions are right, the seed starts taking in water and gets bigger and bigger. Then root comes out first and grows into the soil. The roots fixes the baby plant in soil and absorbs nutrients. Then shoot comes out and starts to grow towards the sun. The first pair of leaves that are formed are known as cotyledons. And the young plant is also known as sapling. So this is all about the seed germination. That's all for today. Children, discuss this chapter at home with your parents. Thank you and stay safe.